So time is short. Editing images takes a lot longer than we'd like it to. How can we speed that process up? Well, in Lightroom, we can use presets. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create your own presets to speed up your workflow considerably. So let's jump into Lightroom and take a look at how to create our own custom presets. Hi, I'm Paul Charlton, and this is Essential Lightroom, where I show you how to take your photographs to the next level using Adobe Lightroom. If this is your first time on the channel, please consider subscribing and clicking the bell icon to be notified of our weekly new content as soon as it's added to the channel. So, speeding up your workflow inside Lightroom. Presets, a great way of doing just that. And I'm going to show you how you can create your own. But first of all, what exactly is a preset? Well, a preset is basically where we create a style, a look to a photograph. We can save all those settings out as one simple little file, and then we can click on that and apply it to any image we want. We're not restricted to keeping it to look the same. We can use that as a starting point, and we can then go on and tweak and enhance that to get the perfect result on an image by image basis. What this does is it gives you a great starting point for speeding up the process. So for this example, I'm going to use this image that I've got open in front of me as the starting point to create our first preset. I'm in the develop module in Lightroom, so I press D on the keyboard to access that. and I've now got the develop panel open on the right hand side. You can see I can step through these one at a time and that's what we're going to do. We're going to create a custom style. So let's just open the basic panel up and what with this, I want to get a kind of retro crushed look to it. So we're going to do that first of all. Now there's certain things you can do when you create your preset. You can tell it exactly what you want to edit and what you want to leave out. And we'll take a look at that in a moment. But let's go through and create our style. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna bump the contrast up on this image. And I'm gonna come down to the clarity. I'm gonna bump that up a little bit as well to get a nice strong look. I'm gonna use the vibrance to sort of punch up the color, but I'm gonna bring the saturation down a little. So our sort of warmer tones are gonna be nice and warm, but the overall image is gonna be slightly desaturated. So that's cool, I like that. I'm not gonna do anything with the highlights, shadows, whites, and blacks. I'm gonna leave those as they are, because then you can edit those on the image itself that you apply this preset to. I am gonna jump into the tone curve, and I'm gonna go through and just quickly create a Lightroom effect that I want to use in this. Now I've covered presets and how to create all these different looks in tons of different videos. I recommend checking those out. So I'm not gonna go through how I'm doing this. This is more a case of just showing you how to get the end result. So we're just gonna create this simple look. So that's before and after. It's pretty cool, I like that. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come down and I'm gonna come into the effects section. I'm going to put a vignette on there and I'm going to apply some grain to the image. Quite a lot of grain to get a kind of old fashioned look to this. Come back into my colors as well. I'm going to desaturate this a little more. There we go, that's pretty cool. So we started with this, we've ended with this. So we created our stylized look. Like I say, I've just covered the basics. Now we've created our look, we're ready to save this out as a preset that we can then use again and again and again and share it if we want to with anybody we like. So with my effect in place, what I'm going to do is come over to the left hand side, scroll to the top, and you can see that I've got presets. Expand that and you can see all the preset groups that I've got, where I've created them, the different commercial presets we have available. All I need to do is come up to the plus in the top right hand corner of the preset section, click on there, and you can see I've got the option to create a preset or an import a preset. We're going to create this. And what that does is it opens up this panel that allows us to specify quite a few different things. First of all, we need to give it a name. So I'm gonna call this sample preset. Then I'm gonna give it a place that I'm going to save that. You can see I've got a ton of groups open on the left-hand side. Now obviously you're not gonna have all these, you'll have a couple of basic ones that are part of Lightroom itself. But I can click and open that up. I could create a new group if I wanna put this somewhere specific. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna come down and just choose user presets, which is kind of the default location if you have nothing else installed. Now, this might look a little daunting to start off with, but it's really quite simple. All you're doing is you're saying, what options do I want included inside this particular preset? Now I'm gonna check none to get rid of everything in there. Now, treatment of profile, these kind of relate to the different things we have over on the right hand side. So white balance and so on. So anything that I've actually adjusted that I want to be part of this preset, I'm going to check. So I know that I adjusted the contrast. I left the highlight shadows, white clipping and black clipping, left all that completely out. Tone curve I adjusted, clarity I adjusted, 
I didn't do anything. I did some color alterations, no split toning. I come down and I've got grain and post crop vignetting, no lens correction, nothing else in there. So I've just checked the things that I applied. So anything that's not checked, when we apply the preset, even if we've tweaked things, they will be left alone, completely untouched. So what we're doing is we're just making, making sure that we only include the alterations that we've made and we want included as part of our preset. Hope that kind of makes sense. So we click Create and we're done. If we open up our user presets on the left hand side and we take a look through, we're going to find the preset that I've just created. And if we scroll down, you can see this sample preset. So that's now saved as part of our presets. So let's take a look at how we can apply that to a different image and see this in action. So let's just jump back to our library. So I'll press G on the keyboard and I'll open a different image up that we're going to use as an example. So let's just say I want to use this particular one. So D on the keyboard to open that in develop module. Reset to make sure nothing has been applied to this so it's completely blank as it's been loaded in image. We're going to come over then to the sample preset, click, and you can see that's now applied that preset directly to this image. If you open the basics panel, you can see all the alterations and the tweaks that I made have all been taken place. Anything that we didn't check is left in its default position. So now if I wanted to, I could easily come in and start adjusting this to make sure that, for example, I want to open the shadows up a little bit. It's a little bit too dark for this particular image. Bump up the blacks on there. So you can see I've used my preset that we've just created as a starting point. When I've applied it to this new image, there are differences between our source image that we used to create it and now the image we're applying it to. So I can easily come in and tweak that. I can also simply come in and tweak anything that we use as part of the preset to override that to get a great end result. And that's how easy it is to create your own custom presets, save them, and then apply them to further images, and then adjust those images at the end to get great looking results. Well, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please hit that subscribe button, smash the like button, and hit the bell icon to be notified every time new content is added to the channel. If you have any comments, questions, or feedback on this video, or anything you'd like to see covered in future videos, please pop those in the comment section below, and don't forget to check out the other videos on our channel. And until next time, take care.